Hello everybody. Uh, so, I'm going to play a little classic soccer PC. Uh, been playing uh, an All-Star Champions League competition using set three of the European finalists from classic soccer. Uh, we are in the, uh, the last 16 and uh, the second leg of that and uh, I'll go over the what's happened so far um, here in a minute, but uh, I'm getting ready to play the second half of the 1983-84 Liverpool versus 89-90 AC Milan. Let's head to the pitch and uh, well, first we're going to go and see what's happened so far in this tournament or competition, I should say. So, the summary, uh, Group A, Juventus and Real, 16-17 uh, Juventus and 97-98 Real Madrid advanced, uh, Juventus with 15 points, um, 6 wins, no draws, 1 loss, uh, their only loss coming in the first game in Group A against 97-98 Real Madrid, Real Madrid, and they lost two to one. But they have been uh, fantastic defensively. They're pretty amazing, only allowing 1.14 goals against. Uh, top goal scorers are Paulo Dybala, Gonzalo Higuain. Dybala also has three assists. He's been having a very nice tournament. Or competition, sorry. Real Madrid advances also. They're led by Clarence Seedorf, Pedro Mahatovic, Mahatovic, and Christian Karenbu. They are four, one, and three. Group B, 79 Hamburg and AC Milan advance. 79, 80, I should Hamburg, at 13 points and nine points for 89, 90 AC Milan. Hamburg, led by Horst Hubesch. And Kevin Keegan, uh, 10 goals between them. Keegan with four assists is having a good competition. Uh, four, one, and three. They actually lost three times, but uh, they were actually three and one to start out, and then have, uh, they lost. Uh, in the last 16. We'll sh go over that in a minute. One thing at a time. Group C, 16-17 Real Madrid and 2010-2011 Man United. Real Madrid led by Cristiano Ronaldo's four uh, goals. Gareth Bale also had four goals. Ronaldo, Casemiro, Tony Cruz all had two, both had, all three had two assists. Uh, they are five wins, no draws, two losses. 13 goals for and only six against. So they've been... Uh, uh, doing a good job of keeping the net uh, ball out of the net, out of the goal. Six goals in seven games. He's made 22 saves. Uh, Kalor Navas. Navas. Man United have scored 13 goals, 9 goals against. They are led by Wayne Rooney, who's having a spectacular uh, competition with 6 goals. 
Nani has three assists. Anderson has four goals. They are four, one, and two. Group D, 12-13 Bayern, Bayern Munich and 10-11 Barcelona advance. Bayern Munich, led by Bastian Schweinsteiger, four goals, and David Alaba with three. Tony Cruz has three assists. They are three, three, and one. Barcelona, 15 goals, 4 and 9 against. David Villa and Lionel Messi each have 4 goals. Messi with 3 assists, Eric Abadal and Gerard Peak with and Iniesta with 2 assists. Group E, 75-76 Bayern Munich and 06-07 AC Milan. Gerd Muller, Gerd Muller has five goals to lead uh, Bayern Munich. Bernd Dernberger has three, two assists each for Franz Roth and Franz Beckenbauer. O six O seven, AC Milan. They advanced to the uh, last sixteen. Kaka and Andre Pirlo and Alberto Giardino, both with two goals. Kaka with five. Giardino and Kaka also have two assists, two wins, three draws, two losses. 11 goals for, 9 against. Not a solid uh, competition, but they did advance to the land, uh, round of 16. Or last 16. And here's who we got come, uh, playing right now. 83-84 Liverpool, led by Ian Rush with 5 goals. Kenny Dalglish, Dalglish, with three assists and Graeme Graeme Saunas with two assists. They are three, three, and one with nine goals four and four goals against. So Rush doing most of the offensive production. They've only given up four goals. Let's see. Bruce Grabalar. 24 face 24 shots on goal and 19 saves he's made Eighty nine ninety Benfica they are struggling offensively but their defense is holding them keep them in it uh, keeping them in it Matt's Magnuson with four goals four of the team's six goals as far as giving up goals they they've had one two three four clean sheets for Silvino He's faced 66 shots, 23 shots on goal, and 20 saves. Uh, group G, 57-58 AC Milan, and 75-76 St. Etienne. Ad advanced to the last 16. For the uh, AC Milan... They've won three, drew one, and four losses. Still finished first in their group. Led by Gaston Bean and Carlo Galli. They've spread out the goals pretty good. 
10 goals for and 12 against. That's because they got uh, beat up pretty good by Nottingham Forest on their own pitch, 5-1. to one. That was a bad loss to start things off. Or no, I'm sorry, they won that one. I'm sorry. Oh, they played Barcelona and gave up six goals to Barcelona. That uh, was a telling. And they actually are out of the t competition as Barcelona won 6-2 to two on aggregate. St. Etienne, three wins, one draw, four losses. Not a very competitive uh, group here. Well, I guess it was competitive, but not very high-scoring or offensively-minded uh, teams here. Seven goals, four, seven against, led by Patrick Ravelli's three goals, and John Michael Lark with two. Dominique Bethene had two assists. In goal, Ivan Kirkovic faced 97 shots, 30 of them on target, and 23 saves. And the final group, Group H, 68-69, AC Milan. They were 5-1-2. 12 points, 14 goals for, nine, 9 goals against. Gianni Rivera with 5 goals. Pierre, Pierre Perino Prati with 5 goals as well. Angelo Sormani with 3. Lodetti, Giovanni Lodetti with 4 assists. They would win the uh, European Cup in 68-69, despite finishing third place in Serie A. But offensively, they've got a couple big-time goal scorers in Riveri and Prati. And then finally, 2000-2001, Bayern Munich. They finished in first in the Bundesliga and the winner of the Champions League that year. They scored 10 points in the competition in their group. After losing 3-0, they reeled off six wins, one draw and one defeat. So 5-1-2, and two, led by... Mehmet Scholl with three goals and Giovanni Elber with three goals. Scholl also had two assists. So after all that, top goal scorers, uh, 89-90 AC Milan's Marco Van Basten and 2010-2011 Wayne Rooney, Paulo Dybala and Horst Hubesch all with six goals. Assist Kevin Keegan and Giovanni Lodetti, each with four. The 89-2000, or 89-90 AC Milan and 16-17 Juventus are the highest goal scorers with 17. 2010-2011 Barcelona is in third with 15. So... Let's uh, check out some highlights here. Uh, hat tricks so far in the competition. Daniela Massaro for 89.90 AC Milan scored a hat trick in the 7-1 win over 60-61 Benfica. And then Paulo, Paulo Diop, Dybala scored a Hat trick and a 4 1 win over 16 17 Juventus for Juventus against 06 07 Liverpool. Those are the only two hat tricks. 
uh, most goals scored in a game. That's, again, AC Milan in that 7-1 victory. Let's take a look at that game. Rucard scored two, Van Boston scored two, and three from Massaro. And a big win for AC Milan. Uh, oh, games that uh, had six or more goals and were close. Dortmund dropped a close one to Real Madrid, four to three. They were all, looks like the first three were four to threes. Benfica, 67-68, beat 60-61. Or no, 60-61, Benfica won four to three over 67-68. So, let's... Uh, Let's head right back to the pitch. Whoops, what am I doing? And it's Liverpool Milan uh, in the last 16. And the first leg, 10 11 Barcelona won 4 to 1 over 57 58 AC Milan. Then 75 76 St. Etienne and 68 69 AC Milan drew. 1-1, 1 -1. 97 Real Madrid took it to 75 70 at Bayern Munich. Muller with the only goal for Munich, but Bayern Munich. Then 2000-2001 Bayern Munich beat 79-80 Hamburg 1-0. 89-90, AC Milan, that offensive uh, team scored the most goals, were shut down in the first match between Liverpool, the game we're playing today, and the second leg. The first leg, it was 2-1 Liverpool. Ian Rush scored in the 80th minute to put Liverpool on top, and they hold on 2-1. 60607 AC Milan and 1213 Bayern Munich drew at 1-1 8990 Benfica they beat 1617 Real Madrid 1-0 and then 1011 Man United Rooney scored his sixth goal of the, of the uh turn um competition but Juventus Comes back and wins it. Rooney scored in the second minute to put Man United up 1-0. But Juventus's defense overpowered Man United. And Higuain scored in minutes number 7 to make it 1-1. And Men Zukic scored in the 58th minute to put Juventus on the top. And they would hold on to win. Second leg, Barcelona made quick work of 57-58 AC Milan. 2-1 to win by 6-2 on aggregate. AC Milan, 68-69. They win 1-0 over St. Etienne. And that gives them the 2-1 win in the second leg in the on aggregate. So they advance. Bayern Munich, 75-76. Get two goals from Gerd Muller, Muller and win 4-0 over 97 98 Real Madrid. But that just tied it on aggregate. And Real Madrid wins it 3-2 on penalties. A tough break for Bayern Munich. So the first one, Real Madrid won 5-1. to one, 
and then you win 4-0 and you still lose on penalties. Tough, tough break for Bayern Munich. Uh, Hamburg led this one 2-1, uh, but Hartwig went off in the third minute with a red card, and so Hamburg was playing behind, uh, and Bayern Munich, though, would come back and win it on goals from Nagli and Scholl, two goals from Scholl. Nagli had the own goal. And on aggregate, Munich wins it 4-2. So, we will come back here in play the 83-84 Liverpool as we as we said Liverpool lead, leads it 2-1 after the first leg so all they need to do is win draw or win 1-0 uh, well they don't even have to they, they just need to draw either draw or win by one to advance as you see it's Zero, zero, or nil, nil, sorry, at the half, uh, first half highlights, not a lot, uh, Robinson did have a shot uh, in the 40th minute for Liverpool, went off the woodwork, off the post, uh, that was the closest anybody really came to score. There was eight shots by Liverpool. They did definitely carry the, uh, the pressure as they were 44% of the play was in AC Milan's side. And Milan, their goal scorers haven't really been present. Look at Van Basten. He's done much of anything. He's only had one shot. They've only had three shots total. So, lots going to have to happen for Milan in the second half. in the second half to pull this one out. Ian Rush in the game, trying to close it out.
Exactly can take. 
Bush is going to get a free kick. Into the wall. Bounces back out, and that's a lot he's got. Sends it across for Daddy. Daddy. Storm rolling in. Reduce all goal score ratings by five. Lower all kick pass ratings by ten. Double the time of each play. So ratings coming down. So that's going to affect the play. Still says sunny. Storm rolls in. Johnston takes the takeaway. In the rush. In the rush. Shoots. And. Oh, it rushed wildly into the 
extra pass and Reese kicks it away. It's going to be a corner pick. He sends it in. Hope the Kirta knocks it away. Hope the Solis. Solis. As a take away from Reese, Reese heads it up. Bogadova. To that line. Sends it up into the corner for the return. Sends it across. Van Basten has an open shot. Score! It's a goal from Van Basten! In the 93rd minute. Oh my gosh, what a big goal for EC Milan. Ricard with his third assist. <coughs> and that's going to do it. <coughs> End of regulation. We're going to have extra time. As the goal from AC Milan gives the aggregate score of 2 to 2. Storm clears out. Goal from Marco Van Basten. And now, see if Liverpool can rebound from this. Still coming. One of the 
Sunny sets a crossing, stealing by the Navy. <coughs> Saving me. Sons of a
Illinois Senate.
This game was played mostly in the AC Milan end as 26 shots for Liverpool to just nine for AC Milan. But it was Marco Van Basten's goal second minute that tied the game and set the game to the extra time. We went two extra time and then a shootout. And Sammy Lee finished him with the goal to make it 3-1 in the shootout and win it. to round the next round so exciting stuff thanks for watching and we will see you next time